Hi, everybody. This video is going to be about chapter two, practice problems. So we're gonna start with section 2.2, and we're gonna focus on this uh, section about putting the terms in order of increasing intention. So I know that intention and extension can be somewhat confusing. But if the intention is increasing, that means we are becoming more specific. So if you see increasing intention, think becoming more specific or um, attributing, connoting more attributes to the item. So as we become more specific, then um, there are more attributes that are added that define the thing. So generally a philosophy professor, right? Justin Harrison, that's me. Um, my philosophy professor has increasing intention because there are more attributes in me um, that make me specific compared to the general category. So we're moving from larger categories to smaller categories, but the smaller categories have to filter back up into the larger. So let's start with number one, conifer, sitka, spruce, tree, spruce, plant. So the first thing, the way that I like to do this is to start with the most general thing and then work our way down. And that would be increasing intention, increasing specificity. So what is the least specific term in all of these? If you chose plant, you are correct. So plants are the largest group here and every one of these things falls underneath plant. Now one important note here is that you might need to look things up which is totally fine. Uh, it's okay not to know the definitions of things. Um, and so all we have to do is look them up and then often the definitions that we find, the lexical definitions will often make reference to the genus and species as well and will help us out. All right, so what's the second broadest category in this group of, of words? If plant is the broadest, if you chose tree, you are correct. So plant, then we move down to tree. And now notice the other three groups are types of trees, conifers, spruce, and Sitka spruce. Now we know that the Sitka spruce is more specific than just spruce because it's a type of spruce. So we know that the Sitka spruce is gonna be nested underneath the category spruce. So we go plant, tree, so plants on top, trees second, and then what is the third term out of these five that's most general? conifer. So conifers um, are evergreens and you can just look it up if you don't know the term. Um, but a spruce is a type of coniferous tree and then the Sitka spruce would be uh, more specific than spruce. So it goes plant, uh, tree, conifer, spruce, Sitka spruce in that order from top to bottom. Number two, Italian sports car, car, vehicle, Maserati, sports car. All right, so if you don't know what a Maserati is, all you gotta do is look it up. So here is, it's a beautiful uh, Italian sports car, one that I will never be able to afford, nor would I buy it anyway. Um, but if, you, um, if you've seen one, they're pretty awesome. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen A 2004 Honda Civic Gray. Uh, let me just move. Oof, so nice, right? Look at this. Mm. 2004. I drive the EX. <laughs> so anyway, whatever. 1.7 liters. Um, <laughs> sorry, that's what I drive. <laughs> but I digress. Okay, so we know what a Maserati is. It's a very specific form of sports car. And since we're looking at all of these, Maserati seems to be the highest have the highest level of intention, the most specificity. So let's try this one the opposite way. So we know that Maseratis are a specific type of Italian sports car. If you don't know they're Italian, just look it up uh, and it'll say where they're built. So we know it's an Italian sports car. Oh, we have Italian sports car here. Is there another word that has any level of intention between Maserati and Italian sports car? No, because the other terms, car, vehicle, and sports car, are all broader. They have decreasing intention. 
So Maserati from the bottom this time. So Maserati is the most specific. Italian sports car, second most specific. And then of car, vehicle, and sports car, what is the most specific? Um, and here we know that a sports car is more specific than a car because a car could be like a station wagon or whatever else. So sports car is above Italian sports car. And then car would be above sports car. We're moving up the chain again. And then the highest level uh, of extension or the least level of intention is vehicle. So for example, another type of vehicle is a four wheeler, a truck, a tank, um, uh, a train, any of those things. So vehicle actually has the highest level uh, of generality. So from the top to the bottom now, vehicle, car, sports car, Italian sports car, Maserati. Number three, doctor of medicine, person, brain surgeon, professional person, surgeon. Think about what is the broadest the broadest would be person. And then what is the second broadest genus here? Professional person. So on top we have people, and then we have professional people. <laughs> Most of us are professional people, right? We get paid to do something. Um, <clears throat> so pe person, professional person. And now we get into medicine here. So we have doctor of medicine, brain surgeon, and surgeon. So remember, anytime there's an adjective attached to a noun, it's probably more specific. Unless, I guess, the adjective is less specific surgeon. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, sorry, I'm being confusing. Uh, okay, so we have person, professional person. And then what is the most general term? Doctor of medicine, brain surgeon, or surgeon? If you chose doctor of medicine, you're correct. And then a surgeon is a type of doctor of medicine and a brain surgeon is a type of surgeon. So from top to bottom, we have person, professional person, doctor of medicine, surgeon, and brain surgeon. Increasing in intention, uh, also another way to think of it is, uh, again, um, increasing specificity. Number or letter D, uh, wallaby, marsupial, mammal, animal, kangaroo. As I mentioned, I had to look this one up. I got confused on the kangaroo wallaby part because I didn't know because uh, I don't study such things because um, I don't read. Uh, the, but let's think, what is the broadest category? Wallaby, marsupial, mammal, animal, kangaroo. Well, you know, mammals are types of animals and marsupials are types of mammals. Marsupials are mammals that have pouches that they keep their young in. Which, by the way, the American possum is a marsupial as well. Um, but what is the broadest? The broadest is animal. Underneath animal, we have a certain type of animal called a mammal. Underneath mammal, we have marsupials, which include kangaroos and wallabies and possums, and some other things. So we have the marsupials, and then it comes down to kangaroo and wallaby. I had to look this one up, which is absolutely fine. Nobody has absolute knowledge. Um, so it says a wallaby is a small or mid-sized macropod, native dot, dot, dot. They belong to the same taxonomic family as kangaroos and are sometimes the same genus. But kangaroos are the sixth largest species of the family. So it's almost like kangaroos and wallabies have the same level of specificity. But let's just say that the wallaby is a type of kangaroo. It's debatable. I wouldn't put one like this on the test because I think it is debatable based on this. That's the Wikipedia definition. Not a great resource, um, but certainly a good enough resource for this and also uh, for the Maserati question. You could get into it more down here if you wanted to. But let's call the wallabies a type of kangaroo because since the kangaroos are um, at least is a representative term for the sixth largest species of the family. 
So anyway, what we end up with is animal, mammal, marsupial, kangaroo, and wallaby. Wallabies are little kangaroos. Uh, and then finally, uh, letter E, parallelogram, polygon, square, rectangle, quadrilateral. This one, again, might be difficult. It might have been, you know, sophomore or junior year of high school since you took uh, geometry, and that's okay. All we got to do is look it up. We live in an amazing time where we have access to factual knowledge at the tips of our fingers. So let's utilize it, not use up our memory and brain power for it. Although it would be good to learn these things as you go through. The largest, most, most general category is polygon. Polygon is just a mini sided figure. And then underneath that, there are different types of polygons. Quadrilaterals are polygons that have four sides. So that is the second, that is the second uh, most general term. And then underneath quadrilaterals, squares are quadrilaterals, rectangles are quadrilaterals, and parallelograms are quadrilaterals. But a parallelogram um, doesn't necessarily have to be a square or a rectangle. It could be a diamond shape. Um, or some variation thereof. So parallelograms are actually a type of quadrilateral. And you might not know this or remember it, but a square is a type of rectangle. A square is a rectangle in which all four sides are the same length. So rectangles are actually a larger category of um, under which squares are a portion of the rectangles. And so um, square is the most has the highest level of intention of specificity. So from the top down, we have polygons, then quadrilaterals, then parallelograms, rectangles, and finally square. So that's increasing intention. I hope you found this uh, video helpful. Um, if you wanna practice this the other way, so, uh, uh, um, for increasing in, uh, extension, you would just go the opposite way, uh, making things more general. Uh, and then, um, well, I'll just leave it at that. So just think of it as the opposite. Increasing intention is becoming more specific. Increasing extension is extending out farther and becoming more general. So when we come down like we did, we're increasing intention. But if you start from the bottom and go up, you're increasing extension. Hope you found this video helpful and um, keep learning logic.